Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and welcome back to Let's Play Galsip 3. I uh, got a constructor flying around here and I guess we'll just put him into Cathalia Starbase, upgrade that a little more. Because I honestly... Alright. I uh, honestly lost track of where I wanted to put that guy. And uh, now I kind of face the problem of what to do with my shipyards. I mean, we got one here that'll uh, keep churning out hammers. Uh, Cathalia, though, it's not the strongest production. So uh, I'm not quite sure where to go with them. Uh, from here, we're also going to churn out the upgraded version of the hammer. I guess we can use a couple more constructors over there, even though it's kind of stupid to produce them here just due to the long travel time, but it makes it a little easier to actually... Hold on a second. Oh no, let's just get those guys like this. I was just thinking that maybe we upgrade the engines so they can fly a little faster, but then they'll be more expensive and... yeah. Anyway, uh, let's upgrade the labs just all around like this. And the Xeno farm needs to be upgraded somewhere in there as well. Maybe level that up here. Yeah, that looks good. And that looks like we're done for this turn. That's nice. I want to get rid of this damn Rama star base and start, for one, harvesting a couple of ascension points myself. But I'm probably not going to win with those. Um, mostly it's just annoying the hell out of me. So I want it... I want it gone. So there we go. And we're probably going to lose one more ship, which really don't mind that much. Um, yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna rebuild that starbase. Actually, let's take one more turn over here and build it up here. Nice. Okay, so we do need the Xeno Arc Lab, I think. Yep, we need that. And from there, I'll just go with the scanners and the culturing, pretty much. There we go, just to give a nice uh, vision radius and to actually... Oh, we have that here. <sighs> and to uh, actually... contribute a little bit to our influence spread. Um, which we still got a lot to work on. We, we apparently need, because I was looking at the victory conditions earlier, we apparently need 23% more influence to actually, you know, win the game through an influence victory, so that is, uh, very interesting. Idle ships, really. Oh, there's a hammer here, cool. So, uh, let us meet up here, maybe. Just over there. Uh, and just get rid of the remaining your bases. That should not be a problem, since it looks like they can't actually, um, keep building those. Alright, here I guess we'll... What was the plan here? Maybe one more, like so. Plan was to build more influence, right? Yeah, Got the culture ring, cultural forum. Um, just try and spread that influence, because the Iconian refugee is actually pressing their borders pretty hard, and I'll try and do what I can. Uh, this basically just costs me a little bit of production and um, money, which is uh, both I have an abundance of, so don't even mind that. Okay, so where to put you? I guess we'll just uh, have that guy scout out. Look at that amazing radius. Um, have that guy scout for the remaining your bases until we can actually get our large scale construction done. And uh, hold on a second care of my tea there. Um, until we can get that large-scale construction done and <clears throat> then deal with the Alteran Resistance. The Crimson Syndicate comes to you with an opportunity. The Alteran Resistance are dangerous and we would appreciate aid in being rid of them. Declare war on them, I'll give you the knowledge of Xeno Archaeology to aid in your fight. Um, no, I don't really want that just now. You can, uh, you can have the, all the fun to yourself. I love how they're uh, formulating this, though. Uh, presenting me with an opportunity. I really love that. Because <laughs> the... Um, 
Oh, we're just gonna go with these scanners and the military ring. Field augmenter, what the hell? Wow, could really make that thing. Like plus 10% armor rating and then plus 11. And we could also add on missile systems, I think. Could really make that a very strong base, but that's not really necessary. It just needs to be, uh, I don't know, able to, to stay there because it's going to be our scouting base. And uh, where did I want to send you again? I guess we'll start over here. Um, think I'll probably build the cultural forum here as well. Though what I'm not really sure of is, will the influence grow 10%? Yeah, that's great. So, um, but it will only affect planets that are in range of this thing, right? It won't really produce any influence points on its own, I don't think. Hmm, really unsure. It doesn't say here. Uh, just, just assuming that it works like that. So maybe I shouldn't have built the uh, culture ring at all. Influence growth plus one, plus ten percent, yeah. I don't know, just felt right at the time. Anyway, uh, we probably need to maybe get another star base going over here. Try and cover these three planets with it as well. And make that an influence based star base. And the same goes on down here pretty much. Uh, once we get rid of all these star bases. But one thing after another. Let's uh, not get ahead of ourselves. There is my friend. Oh, it's gonna take a couple turns. Yeah. Fine. I'm just gonna pass you. What are you doing there? Oh, whatever, it's fine. Okay, so there's another star base. I'm just gonna move the scout through here. Or maybe just have him sit here. Uh, command. Just be a sentry there. Whatever. Alrighty, idle colonies. Um, probably can get rid of this. And build one of our factories here. And uh, how much population we have? We have food for 25 people. So, And we have approval for 18. So we're good on that front. So I guess we'll just go ahead and work on those labs, and I don't think we'll actually need... Uh, well, yeah, let's take the manufacturer focus nonetheless, because it's gonna save us like two turns per lab upgrade, which is a lot of time, considering we have five of those. Um, influence and tourism. Not yet sure what we'll do on these two tiles. Depending on how the planet looks, once the population is uh, basically near max, we'll, we'll decide on that. For now, I'll just... here I guess. I just want to have the complete vision. It's basically your only task here. And there's another hammer. There's one. Alrighty. Let's just try and build a second fleet over here. There we go. You can just uh, stay guard. Ah, just... Well, I guess it's alright that... I was just about to say it's annoying that every starbase has such a uh, so durable and uh, can dish out so much damage, but then again, it would be kind of silly if they were really fragile, right? Because uh, how would an empire builder be able to defend himself? It's gonna have to be a little bit resilient. Uh, if you're like if you're beaten for fleets, but you have a good production, it's gonna be really unfair if you um, if the enemy could just raise out all your improvements without risking anything, so I think it's alright. It's just annoying me at the moment because the Yor has have so many star bases and also are uh, sending their ships around in circles. Which is just rather annoying. Alrighty, I think this one here is the one that I can upgrade. Yep. I'm gonna sec sector scan and probably just Um, just what? Go with your regular 
defense system, I'd say. There we go. To improve our scanning ability by a little bit. And these guys just wait one turn. Scout here as well, just guard. How long for you? Yes, one turn, then we can have the large scale construction. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. Ah, just got up uh, Sunday morning, so I'm sipping my tea as I'm uh, playing. There we go, large hull sized. And we get carriers as well. Cool. Very cool indeed. All right, so let's take a look at the warfare department. I think we're pretty much good here for a while. We could go for uh, stronger armors. But I don't see... Like, the Iconians do have missiles, as far as I remember. And the... Uh, I don't even know about the Kryn Syndicate. And the um, Alteran Resistance, they have beams and shields, mostly. So I think we're good on that front. Uh, let's enhance habitat improvement, I think. Mm, don't really need any one of these. So the habitat improvement probably. Or the food distribution. Intensive farm. I think we'll go with that. And after that, we'll actually try and see... Yeah, we kind of neglected the... Uh, we do need the Colonial Bank, I think. We just have a lot of wealth-producing planets, so it doesn't really matter. But we should probably focus on having more quality than quantity, or rather turn our quantity into quality. Will there's another ship? No. That's nice. Uh, let's just take a look-see up here. Is there anything more your related? No, nothing left. That's good. So we cleaned up this side, pretty much. Um, let's get over here, then. Do we need... No, we don't need any improvements there. Shipyard idle. Yeah, let's just keep churning out these guys. Two, like three... Ah, two more is fine. And have you come over here, because there's two more Dorantium refineries that we could take care of. And another hammer. Let's bring it there. We got three here. That's cool. Should work on our logistics as well. But anyway, let's, uh, let's take a look at what we can actually now decide. Not user, where's the core? There we go. That is a large ship, right? Mm-hmm. Cruiser, <laughs> 40 beam attack. Yeah, I'm liking that. Uh, that's a medium. Mm -hmm. This one looks pretty amazing. Uh, let, let me go with that. And, uh, well. Shield what? Shield le leak? Beam weapons take down shields at 100% efficiency. Disruptor, disruptor, disruptor. Uh, it's actually not a bad ship. But I kind of want to you know, just clear it all out. Kind of want to design it myself. Anyway, so let's go. For the, uh, the first thing we'll need is uh, engines. And we're going to put the iron drives on there. They hopefully fit in here. Um, how many movement points do you have now? 3.2, right. So we'll make that 6. Mm, that should actually be enough. Um, get the iron thrusters. those mounted maybe up here seems good tactical speed 42 
Mm -hmm. Put a second one on. Be at 49. That doesn't really change that much. So uh, let's actually make those guys a little more convenient. Get another. Why are you not? I have to do that myself. No, not flip. Horizontal. There we go. And you can just. No, oh, no, I'm not gonna bother with the rotating. It's fine. This looks. This looks all right. And we're gonna have one thruster. Can we just put that in here somewhere? That looks okay, I'd say. And that's enough for the engine. So we can move 9.4 at the moment. And, uh, yeah, that should be should be fine. All right, so uh, let's go for defenses. Um, we're definitely going to go one defense type each. I'm going to have some point defense. Likely on deck here. I'm going to have some shield generators, probably be the main defense type. Uh, 13 is pretty decent. I'll probably leave it at that and have some armor plating. We can do that on the bottom. Just to look annoying. There we go. So we are kind of well-rounded terms of defenses. Um, scale that down a little. That just looks stupid with that size. There you go. And uh, same goes for this here. Maybe just a 90 is fine. Okay. Good. So we got every type of defense going. Now for the modules. Um, probably don't even need range, but anyway. Um, this here just costs this here doesn't cost anything. Increases the rate of fire of beam weapons. So that... Oh, lowers the damage. Don't need the colony construction cargo. That's all not really... Helping. Uh, this here costs Illyrium, though. Yeah, I don't think we'll actually have to spend Illyrium on that ship. Uh, let's get a sensor array. This here is fine. And uh, some... Just some regular stellar support should be alright. And this needs to be mirrored. Why don't you... There we go. Okay, so we got that going. And uh, shield generator for all ships. Point even there protects the entire fleet. Let's see, it's rather expensive in terms of mass, though. The Rancham Hall reinforcement. Excuse me, increases the hit points, but requires Tholium to manufacture. But here it says Tarantium. Huh. Well, I guess we'll, uh, we'll just build a basic ship type, and then we'll later on um, add on like a... Like a prototype version of it. That's kind of the idea here. Let's glue on these guys. There's one. There's two. Here is... Um, can I put them on the side here? Doesn't look too stupid. On the bottom, maybe? This looks good. Why don't you... Didn't they use to automatically... Multiply over? Anyway, so now we got 15 beam attack, um, a little bit of shield. So let's stick a couple of 
missiles on there, shall we? Like that. Um, missiles typically... Where can we have our missile banks? Maybe just on the wings here. There's one. And... Come on. Why can't I... Ah, there's two. There we go. So we got 16 missile damage. Um, might want to make that even more. How much do you cost? Eight. Oh no. Where's the missile range? Blah, blah. Missile mass. Eleven. Yeah, we can put another module on there. So where do we fit you? It's right here on top. This looks good to me. And I'm doing this uh, strictly against the Alteran Resistance because they ha don't have any missile defense. Plus, that would make it a little easier to um, actually take down the star bases because missiles do have a lot of range. Ah, alrighty. Now there we have it. Our first large ship type. And uh, Destroyer is a pretty good name for that. Um, Destroyer Mark 1, sure. Uh, you're actually not an escort, you're just a capital ship. Target an enemy ship that comes in range with the primary goal of cutting the heart of the enemy fleet. Sure. Save you, be done, and, uh, oops, that wasn't the plan, wrong button there. That's the right button. So, we're gonna add you in here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, okay. Only six turns, that is actually quite, that's quite doable. Nice, we do have these guys, yeah, you're a manufacturing focus, and, uh, you are as well. And there's not much I can do more. No. Hmm, I guess we could exchange this here for another... Um, for another farm. But, yeah, we're working on, on improving population anyway, so it should, it should be fine. Great, so now we actually have a means of building capital ships, and we do have a couple decent fleets. Like one's building up here, two ships, uh, combined with what's gonna be left after base hunting. Here they are, actually. And up here we are up to... Oh, I didn't need to double-click there. We're up to three. Number four is incoming, so we'll soon have five ships there as well. And we could actually change Earth... Oh, we already have you on manufacturing focus, huh? Well, ain't that interesting. Earth is not that great, because I forgot to actually <laughs> build up... Uh, that's great. What to do here? Uh, we do have a terraforming plant available. So I could go for more population. Which does make sense. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just do that for the additional pop over here. Okay, that will do it for the episode. Whoops, forgot to scroll out the minimap, but we didn't need that anyway. Hope you enjoyed it, and, uh, well, I'm waiting for your tips and ideas on how to approach the Altarian Resistance with minimal annoyance factor. Uh, put that in the comments, please, if you, if you have any ideas, or just lean back and watch me get annoyed. I guess that is entertainment in itself, right? Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day and see you around for the next episode.